Ah, the KTM. The last time it was on the channel, we were doing this. Even the battery's dead. It's been sitting in the corner that long. So at one point I actually sold the KTM and it was with its new owner. A couple weeks into his ownership, he let me know that it was drinking coolant again. So I bought the bike back and we started digging into why. So when I got the bike back, I threw the parts can in at it. I threw a new radiator in from eBay. It's the larger aluminum ones. I also changed the water pump seals out twice just to make sure that they were installed correctly. And none of that solved the issue. So in addition to all the parts I threw at it, I also did a few tests. I grabbed some combustion uh, leak detector and uh, did a test on both radiators uh, to see if there was any exhaust gas making it into the cooling system, which there wasn't, which is nice. I also got a leak down tester, tested the bike, and it passed with flying colors. I also picked up a radiator pressure testing kit, and unfortunately none of these tops fit on the new radiator. I could get one of them to seat on the old one, but it just kind of didn't feel great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my own little T that I can set in between these lines and pressure test from there. That way I'm not relying on the seal on the cap, and I can get the system pressurized and see if that holds. So right here is the crankcase breather. I'm going to pop that off. and. I'll probably see a little bit of moisture coming out of this. I know it's really hard to see, but it is wet right around the nipple here. We definitely have some moisture in there. Let me take a little paper towel here. You see a little bit. It's not terrible. And uh, let's fire up the bike and see if we actually see like, you know, a decent amount of vapor coming out of it. still have coolant going into the oil but is it coming from the water pump seals or is it coming from the head gasket again so we didn't see a ton of vapor coming out but i think that's just because the bike's been sitting and now that i've warmed it up got some coolant circulating it's starting to end back up in the oil again and then burning off all right let's drop the coolant out so we can uh, pop off one of these lines So I cobbled together this pressure tester. You can get this stuff from Home Depot. It's just a um, little pressure gauge that has a Schrader valve on it. And then just a PVC T with a couple barb fittings. I could have just done one, but I was gonna try and put this in line. It's a little bit too big. So I capped this end off and I capped the backside of this section of the coolant line off. So should be a closed system now. Let's pressurize it up to like Try and go for like 10 PSI. I think 1.1 bar is 16 pounds, so we're, we should be plenty safe at 10. Oh, this is bent. Well, that's not gonna do us any good. This gauge dial is bent. I popped the dial face off because this backing was actually bent so the needle was getting hung up on it. So either the gauge dial is lying to me or the radiator cap can actually hold 1.1 bar. The dial was showing 13 psi that it was holding at and anything above that was leaking out of the radiator cap. All right we're definitely leaking somewhere. Right now we're just under 12 and a half. I'm gonna go try and see if I can hear anything. I, it's not moving fast enough that I think I'd be able to hear it. It's not like a constant flow of air, but I'll give it a shot.
So it's about half an hour later and we're down a PSI and a half. So there's definitely a leak, but it is pretty slow. I wasn't able to hear anything because I mean, <laughs> it's, it's barely leaking. So it doesn't really tell me if it's the water pump seals or the head gasket again. So at this point, I've got about three options as far as I can tell. I can measure the run out on the water pump shaft and see if it's eating the seals and that way kind of figure out if that's the issue. I can try and drill a weep hole between the seals because there's two, the, an inner and an outer. And if there's coolant coming out of that, then it's the seals. Uh, I've done them twice though, so I'd be pretty shocked if that was the case. Another possibility is there's an actual crack in the block and it's escaping through there. So it's not actually the head gasket, but a defect in the block itself. I don't know how likely that is, but I have seen a couple forum posts on it. And the last is the head gasket again. If it's the head gasket again, I'm going to be really sad. I, I mean, I just did it. It's probably within 500 miles of when I did it. So I'm going to sleep on this, give it a few thinks, and I'll probably get what I need to measure the run out on the shaft. That way I can at least rule that out. I still doesn't really rule the seals out completely. I'd really like to put the weep hole in there. That's a little scary though, because you're drilling into the case between two seals that are pretty small. So that would take some, some extreme measurement to get that right. And, and luck when you're knowing me with the drill. But anyway, I'll chew on that. Thanks for hanging out with me in the garage. I'll see you in the next one.